What's up dudes and dudes in the air now my name's Seth and today we're gonna be taking a look at The Long Journey Home. Now don't let this game fool you with its crazy graphics and simplistic nature. This is actually a pretty insane and very intriguing space sim. So we get to kind of explore this environment that's got huge uh, logs full of text and dialogue and stuff like that. Uh, and at the beginning here we're kind of choosing our crew. Uh, and this is where it's very important who you end up actually choosing on your crew, uh, because you can see, like, this guy's gonna have major lander repairs as his perk. This one's gonna have a toolbox, which is good for personnel uh, repairing equipment and stuff. I'm just gonna take these characters, Ash's Pet Plant. Okay. Uh, pills for healing and stuff. The Heart of Zeotope, Blogging Empire. Everything a scavenger needs to harvest wrecks and ruins, sure. And calls for help. Okay. Let's take them, and then we get to choose our ship, which is really, really cool as well. Each of them end up having different stat values to them, and they're actually quite beautiful. I really like the way that they actually look. Like, it's really neat. You get to kind of choose their different colors. Uh, you don't get to choose each individual color. You just kind of get to select a few cotton candy. You just kind of get to select a few specific sets, right? And this is going to end up being our lander, which... You'll see when we end up getting to this because it's really really cool uh, I guess we'll just take this one because he's the good one The seed is where you would enter the code for the generation of the world and the environment because it's open world or open space Where you can explore everything, but it's all random generated Which is another thing that makes it doubly impressive, right? So we can choose uh, difficulty as the story mode or adventure mode or rogue mode Story mode is gonna be easier exploration of the galaxy More forgiving lander missions Fewer hazards and safer gravity on planets Slower ship degradation Higher resource values across the galaxy And rewind time if you die As opposed to uh, adventure mode Which is keep pushing forwards uh, Keep pushing forwards towards Earth as your ship degrades Avoid dangerous planets if possible, hunt for uncommon and rare resources and rewind time if you die, or rogue mode, only experts allowed. The ultimate survival experience. Aliens drive harder bargains. Enemies can jam your jump drive. Both ship and crew are more delicate, and no more rewinding during... Well, yeah. So anyways, let's start on Earth because we'll get the tutorial. Uh, and also, I, I feel that it's a very nice opening to the game that's going to kind of instruct us like, and show off very, very well what this game is all about. So, lift off by pointing above your lander and using the thrust. Okay, let's do it. Is it just with the mouse? Here we go. Three, two, one. Thruster, go! Way okay, it's kind of a little bit tricky to do with the mouse here. Uh, I should probably be using a keyboard, but that's okay. Uh, there's also going to be, there's going to be your upper, uh, like you're thrusting up and then thrusting down. I don't know, is the game trying to tell us to go, like do they want us to go straight up? Man alive, this thing is a boat. Like, yikes dude, there we go. Okay, so now we're out into orbit. Because that's going to be the aspect, what you just saw right there is going to be when you're exploring planets, that's what it's going to be like. So now we're going up to the mothership to go and hang out with everybody else. And this is where things get really interesting. Okay, let me actually see... Yeah, okay, I'm going to use a controller actually. It's a little bit easier for me to try and figure this out. So, um... Now we're kind of in orbit. We need to visit a mining colony on Mars to collect the uh, exotic matter for the jump. Fly to Mars, marked on the mini-map. Enter orbit and land. So if we open our little map right here, you can see Mars is way in the top right. So we're actually uh, cycling over the planet, like in its orbit right now, right? So as we tell ourselves to leave, you can use the thrusters to accelerate your ship uh, and uh, retain your momentum uh, and influenced by the gravity of celestial objects. Okay, so anyways, yeah, we're trying to force ourselves out of the gravitational pull is what's actually going on. How do I actually go to the next, there we go. Uh, to re reduce speed, turn your ship against your trajectory and apply thrust. So pretty much just go against where you're going, like complete reversal, right? Use a mini map and gravity wells for navigation to boost speed and to save fuel because that normally is a very, very important thing going on. Uh, so you can see with our tether right here, we're kind of leaving the orbit, right? 
So boost is similar to thrust, but much stronger. It quickly burns through your fuel. Uh, boost is very helpful for fast turns. Thrusts are better for delicate maneuvers, such as orbiting. So we can thrust, which is what I'm doing right now, and you can see we're slowly kind of changing our trajectory. Uh, and then the boost is going to end up changing that a whole lot faster uh, and crazier, right? So our objective, you can kind of see in the bottom left, uh, where the little... Uh, the little water icon is actually our fuel. That's going down as we're in outer space. So you gotta be really careful about that and try to navigate it as much as possible. Navigate it as much as possible. You know what I mean. Try to monitor it, right? So what we're gonna try and do here is get over to Mars. And if I can end up getting close enough to the tra trajectory here, use a thrust uh, to change your trajectory towards the planet. Uh, again, use thrust to avoid collision to orbit, uh, fly into the orbit indicated ring. You cannot go into orbit if you are traveling too fast. A red trajectory line will warn you of this. Decelerate if necessary. So you can kind of see that we've got the red line telling us that we're gonna end up crashing. So I'm just trying to slightly adjust my trajectory here. Very important part to play in this game. Um, so that we can kind of end up orbiting the planet. And one thing that I find really, really nice is we can actually, uh, once we're in orbit of a planet, stay in orbit within a few seconds to actually land and activate the planet. Uh, we can always just activate autopilot and that's gonna kind of automatically set us into orbit so long as we're not going like super duper fast or anything like that, right? So let's go land on Mars and see what ends up happening. Yes! Tally ho! Okay, where'd I go? <laughs> Still, dude, I like I really like, even though it's so simplistic, I love the idea of what this game is. Wait, where is oh there we go. Thrusters! Thrusters! Where am I trying to go? Okay, we're trying to land right there. Okay. Okay, here we go. Be very, very careful here. Uh, you gotta really, really watch out when you're, uh, coming down on a planet because you can crash, like, so easily. There we go! Investigate the location. So now, this is the communications hub for your ship. Uh, ask about uh, subjects, show items of interest, and engage in chit-chat. So, big EM tank. Fuel for the jump drive complete. There we go. And then otherwise we could go to the database, the bridge, the landing pad. We could kind of mess around in this environment and kind of get to uh, talk with the denizens and stuff. This is going to be a very big pivotal part to play as far as when we're in outer space and there's like alien establishments and stuff like that. Uh, also, you can kind of see too, as we're getting to all the planets, they're going to all have different temperaments. They're going to have like, like that one was Arctic style. So it's like, you're going to end up freezing and stuff like that. And you got monitor so many different things, but the game does a good job slowly introducing it to us, right? Um, now they actually are trying to tell us, hold left trigger to activate orbital autopilot. I don't want to do that. Uh, open the ship menu and go to the laboratory. Okay. Let's do that then, whoopsie daisy, there we go. So, investigate the items and artifacts collected on your journey. Crew members will often have different ideas of what to do with an artifact. Their background may determine how likely they are to succeed. Most items are consumed on use, choose your options carefully. So, we'll ignore all of our characters right here. Wait, they want us to go to the lab. Never mind. Okay. Uh, so you can see with the little dialogue choice of the characters. Yeah, I think I could get this working. Give it to your friendly neighborhood grease monkey. I confess my engineering skills are a little rusty. Good grief, do I just plug it in? So let's just give it to this grease monkey character because it seems like she actually knows what she's doing. Uh, the other character might have actually had a completely different functionality for it, right? Uh, open the ship menu, select the EM tank in the laboratory and choose a crew member to fuel the jump drive. There's the big EM. Refuel. Sure, I can do with the exercise. I will fill the tank. Yeah, I like you the most so far. You're really uh, a go-getter. Hold the thrust and boost at the same time to activate the jump drive. Yeah! And this is where things start getting real cool because now we're lost in outer space and the whole point of the game is we're trying to not only survive, but we're trying to slowly make our way back to Earth because things ended up obviously going quite wrong and you can jump drive around and stuff like that. The, you know, the space exploration kind of reminds me of 
Starbound, but more focused on the space and not really exploring planets so much on foot. Because you're pretty much inside your ship, like, no matter what. There is space combat, though. I do want to point that out as well. Uh, and space exploration, which I very, very much enjoy. So, that is where we were. And we're way over here, just like No Man's Sky, where we're trying to get to the center of the galaxy. Except this game's a little bit more exciting. <laughs> I loved No Man's Sky, but yikes. Uh, okay, so Miriam has a concussion. Oh, that's bad. Uh, follow the white arrow to navigate to the jammer or something like that. Okay. Switch between ship uh, piloting modes in options. That's okay. That's okay. There we go. So now we're actually navigating the environment with our ship. And this is where uh, your weapons come into play as well, which we don't actually seem to have them. Or do we? Yeah, we do. We just... Oh... I see we're charging them all up and everything like that. I've never actually ran into combat. Left trigger to fire weapons. Oh, cool! So it straight up is like... Oh, it's like a space pirate or something. Oh, that's so cool because it actually doesn't shoot in front of us. I mean, I'm guessing you would end up being able to get uh, different types of weapons and stuff. So I'm trying to be very careful navigating this environment uh, because otherwise we can crash into all this stuff. And we also don't want to get too, too close to this thing right here, which, uh, which is actually jamming our communications and what's going on and where we are. Hold A and right trigger to leave. No, I don't want to leave yet. I got to go inside this place first. So I don't know if our ship is actually taking like mega damage or not, but let's go in here. I think we're on fire. Hello, is there anybody there? No sound. What? I pressed something, but I didn't know that I did. Oh, it's just a bunch of gibberish. What signal should we send? Let's send this one. Uh, plug transfer something matrix into your system. Sure, let's do it. Send the code. The door is curling open. See, it is very text driven as well. Souvenir from the sphere. So we actually disabled it, and now we can get out of here, as far as I know, right? Yeah, okay, cool. It, it's nice that it actually ends up, like, physically disabling, too. So you can also be very careful. Woo! Uh, and so long as we didn't crash into anything that would interrupt us trying to uh, warp out of the area, that, that ended up working out very well for us. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They're, they're trying to tell us, no, I don't want orbit. I don't want orbit yet because there's some point of interest up over here. And I'm also noticing a green meteor coming straight from my face. Uh-oh. It's changing its trajectories, too. It's flying right at us. What is it? What are you? No. He's coming to get me. Fly away as fast as we can, dude. Oh, my goodness. It really is trying to come and eat me. Okay. Uh, interception. Okay. Okay. What is it? Yes. Oh, my. A giant plant creature. Answer the call. Hello. <gasps> it's beautiful. What? Uh, yes. I don't know what I said yes to, but... Oh, I see. It's trying to lead us somewhere. And this is like a random side quest now as well. Okay. Where'd you go, Mr. Plant? Where'd you go? He's trying to show us something. So we'll go check out what this guy's got to show us before we call it a day, folks. Uh, but it's still very, very interesting game to be sure. Like, I really, really enjoy uh, this kind of space sim that we've got going on, right? Okay. 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 I want to... I'm coming. I'm coming. Slowly but surely. So we got to try and follow him so that we don't end up, you know, dying or anything. We're wasting lots and lots of fuel, though. Yikes. We're really wasting a lot of fuel. Okay, he wants us to just go over to the planet that's at the edge of the world here. So uh, we'll, we'll just try and do that. <laughs> got to be careful, too, because our ship is slowly trying to pull towards the sun's gravitational pull. Uh, there we go. That's its weird planet, I think. Right? Yeah, he's slowing down. He's slowing down. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Yes. All right. Don't worry, weird vine creature. I'll find you. And let's go to autopilot so that we can end up orbiting the plant. And let's land. Oh, dude. So cool, though. 
Like, I, I just like space in general, so a game like this is right up my alley. Even if it's a bit more slower paced, uh, I still think that it's really cool that it's like a full-on space exploration! Uh! Don't waste too much fuel trying to land. So that's where we could go and gather resources. Uh, I'm not going to risk it on this planet because the last time I ended up uh, messing with an alien planet, I stole their resources and they got really angry at me. So I don't know if that's what would end up happening here. Perfect, perfect landing. Okay, uh, take its weird thing that it gave us. A Yggdrasil branch. So this is where we could end up gaining favor with this species, right? Um, as opposed to some of the other alien species out in the universe that might be good, might be bad, maybe they don't even like each other, you know? So we can end up gossiping and talking with it, insulting it, and all sorts of other crazy stuff. So instead, we'll just hang up the phone here, and uh, I guess we'll call it here. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Links will be in the description for everything about this game. Uh, very interesting for sure, like really, really cool and unique game, which is pretty rare these days, honestly, to have a game like this. So in any case, I would very much appreciate if you would like, share, favorite, and subscribe for more daily content. Sign or and stay epic, everybody.